Welcome to this Wiseal Report Builder tutorial. In this part of the series, we're going to look at how to create sum if, count if, and average if expressions. So the video is all about creating conditional aggregate expressions. We'll start by looking at how to nest an if function in a sum function, and look at how to choose whether to sum the value of a field or a zero. Then we'll look at how to combine a count with an if function and look at how to use the nothing keyword rather than a zero to make sure that we get the correct answer. And for the final example, we'll combine average and if functions. So let's get started. To get started, I've created a new blank report in Report Builder. And the first thing we'll do is create a data source to connect to the movies database. If you'd like to follow along and want a copy of the movies database, you can use this video to help you get it installed. And there's a link in that video's description that you can use to download the script file you'll need. Assuming you've done that part already, we can right click on the data sources folder in Report Builder and choose to add a data source. I'll call this one movies and we'll make sure it's an embedded connection pointing to a Microsoft SQL server. Then click the build button to get some help with the connection string. Type in a shortcut to my local host dot backslash and then the name of the instance of SQL Server I'm using, which is SQL 2017. Finally, I can select my movies database from this drop-down list, click OK a couple of times, and that's the data source created. Next, we'll need a data set. So I'm going to right click on the movies data source and choose to add a data set. I'll call this one films. And then for a bit of help, we'll use the query designer to pick a few fields from the film table. So from the tables list, we'll go to the film table and I'm going to select the title, runtime minutes and Oscar wins. I can then click OK a couple of times and that's my data set created. Next, I'd like to add a basic table to show the results of that data set. So I'll start by tidying up my report by removing the page footer and deleting this title placeholder text box. Then I can right click into the body of the report and insert a new table. And then I'll assign the three fields title, then Oscar wins, and then finally runtime minutes. So I'm very basic formatting to change the column widths. I'll modify the font that I'm using so I don't encounter my font rendering bug that you may have seen yourself before. A bit of basic formatting for the column headers. And then I'd also like to display a grand total of the runtime minutes in a cell at the bottom of the table. So I'm going to right click on the detail row, insert a row outside of the group below and then choose the runtime minutes field to create a sum of runtime minutes. I'll add a basic title there that just says total and then just repeat some of my formatting. So I'll go for the same background color and bold text that I've got for my column headers. And then if we just have a quick look at running the report to make sure that everything looks sensible, we can head straight to the last page and find we get our grand total right at the bottom of that column. Next, I'd like to add two more totals to the bottom of this table. One to show the total runtime for films which have won at least one Oscar, and another to show the total runtime for films with no Oscar wins. And to do that, we're simply going to nest an if function inside our sum function. So back in the design view, let's start by adding a couple of extra rows to the bottom of the table. Once I've done that, I'll just add in some basic titles as well. So I'll, I'll call this one a total for winners and then another one to create total for losers. I'm then going to right click into the cell next to the total for winners title and choose to build an expression. So the main expression here, of course, is just a sum function again. So let's begin by saying equals sum and open some round brackets. But rather than just referring directly to the field whose value we want to sum, we're then going to begin an if function. So I, I, F, and then open up some more round brackets. You may remember from the earlier video in this playlist how the if a function works, there are three things to fill in. Your logical test, the value of true, followed by the value of false. So the logical test in this case is whether the Oscar wins field has a value of more than zero. So I can go down to my fields category and then double click the Oscar wins field. Check if that is greater than zero. Follow that with a comma. And if that's true, I want to sum the value of the runtime minutes field. So I can double click runtime minutes. One more comma, and then I have to specify which value I want to sum if the Oscar wins is not more than zero. So a simple example here for the sum function, I could just use a zero. So if there are no Oscar wins, I'll add a value of zero to the sum. 
I'll then need to close two sets of round brackets. And then while I'm here, I'm going to select and copy that entire expression. I can then hit OK and then right click in the cell below and choose expression and then simply paste that expression in, but modify my logical test to check that the Oscar wins value is equal to zero. Having done that, I can click OK again. And then when I run the report and head down to the very last page, I should find two new totals, which if I added them up uh, roughly in my head, should match the total without the if function. You can use this same technique for any of the basic aggregate functions available in Report Builder. So for the next example, let's count the number of films we have in total, and then we'll count the Oscar winners and the Oscar losers separately. Let's head back to the design view, and I'm going to start by inserting a couple of new rows, one for the total count, and then one for the count of Oscar winners. So I'll just add a couple of basic titles here. Let's call this one a count and then this one, count winners. So adding the grand count is nice and easy. I'm going to start by selecting the runtime minutes field, which will give me the sum of runtime minutes. Then I can click on that expression, right click on it, summarize by, and then choose the count function instead. To count the number of Oscar winners, I need to nest an if function inside the count function. And the simplest way to do this would be to view the expression we used to calculate the sum of winners, copy the entire thing, and then right click into the count winners cell, paste in what we've just copied, and then simply change the aggregate function from sum to count. And this isn't going to work in quite the way you might expect. Let's click OK and then run the report again. If we head back to the last page of the report, we'll find that we don't have any difference between the total count and the count of Oscar winners. And the reason for that is the value that we've used for the false part of our if function. The count function simply counts the values that appear. It doesn't care what the values are. So we've provided a zero when there are no Oscar wins. Zero is a value, so the count function counts zero as a value and tells us that in total there are 1200 films. So what we need to do to make this work back in the design view, rather than using a zero for the false part of this expression, if we head back to the expression builder, change the number zero there for a value of nothing. So nothing is the equivalent of null, if you're familiar with nulls in SQL. While I'm here, I'm just going to copy that expression and we might as well create the count for losers as well. So let's insert a new row. Let's add a new row count losers. Right click into that empty cell, choose expression, paste the expression in and then change our logical test to check where the Oscar wins value is equal to zero. Once we've done that, we can click OK and then run the report again. When we head down to the last page this time, we'll see we do indeed get different results for the winners and losers because the nothings aren't included in the count. Finally, let's do the same thing using the average function. Again, it's going to be important to use a nothing rather than a zero in order to get the right answer, just as we've just done with the count function. So let's head back to the design view and we'll insert some new rows at the bottom of the table. Let's go for three. And then we'll add some basic titles as well. So we'll go for average and then average for winners and average for losers. And then I'm going to add the average function next to the average title. That's nice and easy. We can select the runtime minutes field from the field selector click on the sum expression that gets generated and then right click summarize by AVG instead. Next I'm going to copy my expression for the count winners and then right click next to the average four winner cell, choose expression and paste that in. Once again we can simply change the function name from count to AVG 
And as I mentioned, it's important that we use nothing rather than a zero in order to get the right answer. I'm then just going to copy that expression and hit OK. Paste that in next to the average for losers expression. And then change our logical test to check for Oscar wins equal to zero. We can then click OK. Just to do a bit of tidying up with the formatting, I'm going to highlight those three cells and then in the properties window, find the number format property. I just want to make sure that I've got just two decimal places assigned to those numbers. So I'll type in a custom format of 0.00. .00. Once I've done that, I can run the report, head down to the very last page, and then we'll see different averages according to whether the films have won Oscars or not. So there you go, there's the basics of creating SUMIF, COUNTIF and AVERAGEIF functions in Report Builder. If you'd like a quick reminder of some of the more complicated conditions you can write using IF functions, don't forget we have plenty of other videos available in this Report Builder playlist. So we have a separate video which talks about the IF function and the switch functions, and another one which talks about various ways to combine multiple conditions using logical operators. So I hope you found that one useful, thanks for watching, see you next time.